hello. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. And for all of those uh, who have dads, who have husbands that are dads or significant others that are dads, happy Father's Day to everyone. Uh, <clears throat> coming in today, I actually just got home from church and we're ready ready to kind of settle in. But I want to come in real quick, as you can tell by the title. This is a little bit about the meetup with Bethany here. Freely Born is her handle on Instagram. And um, just to share a little bit of what I got on that day, a very small pattern haul and a goodie that I picked up from a fellow Sonista. Um, and then just, just a little bit of chit chat and then we'll be moving right on. Again, welcome to all my new subscribers. I am not wearing a Me Made, but I absolutely love this dress. I've had it for several years. And so um, these are the type of dresses I definitely will be making more a nice fitted bodice with um, box pleats. Um, so yeah, this is not a me made, but um, is very reminiscent of the type of clothes I will be making, which will be part of my conversations on today. As I was hanging, Bethany and I were hanging out a couple weeks ago. I will leave the link above. She did a very nice intro um, to her video. <clears throat> I think it was last week that kind of showed our shopping trip that day. And she sent me the clips and I was like, you know what? You have the video. I'm just going to lead everybody to your channel um, and not recreate the wheel. But we had a wonderful time. Um, visiting different fabric stores and hanging out and talking um, <clears throat> with her was a pleasure. We definitely will be doing it again. Um, a couple things that uh, I had given her some things and she had given me some things. Well, let me show you. Before we even started our day, we were driving along this street because I have needed a chair in my sewing room for a long, forever forever for a very long time because what I was doing was sitting on our ottoman <laughs> that goes in our living room and so yeah couldn't keep my husband had to keep bringing that upstairs for me to sit on and so on because it was sturdy it obviously didn't have a back right it's an ottoman but um so anyway we were driving down the street and this is one of the things I got was this lovely chair it's a nice hard back it's not one of the backs that swing um at all and <clears throat> and it has see there just a nice office chair i got it for 25 dollars. purple is my favorite color so this is purple and so that was one of my great finds before our day even really got going um <laughs> so that was nice um as a gift i received two of these magazine holders and I already know what I'm going to do with them. That'll be in a future video. I am working on, because I've said it, I am working on my, um, I had started my pattern organization, but then I got another idea. I don't know if anybody else do that. You have ideas like, oh, okay, I'm just going to move forward, but then something pop up and you're like, ooh, I'm going to change it just ever so slightly. So yeah, um, so that video is coming soon and it will involve those uh, she had gifted me two of these so thank you so much Beth bethany for that um and then uh she had a haul on some vintage patterns and it was a couple she didn't like and so she gifted me one because i absolutely love this um this is a mccall's vintage pattern mccall 5604 and so um and i actually really do like this top and this top. I just like that style. I really do. I can see that in something nice and, and flowy. But yeah. So I picked that up. And yes, I will be tracing this off. I will not be cutting into that one. As you all know, for my indie pattern companies and my um, something like that, I will definitely... Um, trace off and she gifted me her now if you saw her um retro dress uh butterick when we did the let's go retro uh sewing uh challenge or whatever uh she had posed in this and i had asked her about it i said oh that is so cute and i didn't know she was going to give it to me but it's such a beautiful gift so i have a freely born original let me show you uh the inside here 
And let me show you the tag because the tag is very cute. Very, very cute. Look at that tag. Freely, freely born. And so, uh, so yeah, very nice. This is going with me, Bethany, too, on our vacation to Vegas in a couple months. So that is nice. And then she also gifted me this because I had talked about this, um, that I was going to get a, what is it called? Now, I could be pronouncing it wrong, croaky book. And so she had this book. And um, she actually showed in one of her videos. And so I thought this was really nice that I can use and copy off and um, make copies of and um, and obviously do designs around, you know, just draw. I'm not a good drawer. I also, I have a few things that I purchased, sewing goodies. One of them is, and I'll do a separate video about that because I haven't received everything yet. So I want to do one big sewing collective haul. But I purchased the uh, the Cashmere Curvy Sketchbook. And so, and having this. So yeah, these are some nice tools because one of the things um, that um, I am continuing to learn as you know I've been doing the pattern de-stash and what whatnot there's actually a couple things that I made not a lot it's only two and it's really the off the shoulder things that really didn't work if you saw in my previous videos those will be going to uh the goodwill and it's then I have some other clothes like I have made the decision I've been playing around with this forever and there's really no good reason for the delay, but um, I have made the decision. I am no longer wearing pants. I absolutely love wearing skirts. I love wearing dresses, all sundresses, maxis, all of that. I love wearing all different types of skirts and dresses. And so that will that is what my wardrobe will be. Now, I will wear pant type outfits like I like jogging pants when I'm relaxing and chilling I like jogging pants I like loose fitting pants things like that so those are the type of pants you know I would make very casual very loose fitting but so far as everyday work pants and or anything like that no not my thing anymore at this point and it hasn't been for quite some time for several years even before I really got back into sewing and so now that I'm sewing it's like okay yeah um, I'll just make my stuff. What else was I going to show? I think that was it. Um, so now the couple patterns that I did pick up again, I'm being, being very strategic about my pattern, um, pickups. I picked up quick. Sew because it was on sale, I picked this one up. This is a K four one five four. And, um, I like this because this is definitely something I can wear to work, obviously. Um, and then, and the reason I got it in particular was because of this. I had long thought and hard about, long and hard about, oh, you know what? Can I recreate that with something else? And I was like, I don't have anything else. And I was like, okay, I, I'll definitely, I like that. It's, I picked it up pretty much for that. But I do like you have the A line and then you have the straight, kind of straight uh, fit as well. So. Yep, so that's why I picked that one up. And then I like the neck and the dress of this. This is uh, Quick Sew 4026. And I like this, the scoop. And so here's the line drawings. So I like the scoop, sleeveless, not sleeveless, but I can totally just do a top out of this. Totally just a top. Even... Uh, uh, lower it where it's a little longer so again I'm always looking into how I can hack twist things up now turn things around and so yes this will have more than just these uses it can just be a top that's like this a top that's sleeveless or a little bit longer with sleeves or a little bit longer with no sleeves absolutely love that another one I saw this is mainly for work um, jackets for work uh, very it looked to be very simple, but I do like how it has the um, you know, you can make the cuffs and the um, That uh, what is this placket area? Uh, a different color so look to be very simple and these are my first ever Quick sew patterns I've ever bought, but I've heard so many good things about them So I thought I would just pick them up and of course, you know, I'm doing this challenge um, and so I had to pick this one up and I'm actually going to do view, 
what is that view e and this is going to be a casual something that i wear on the weekends not something to work i did find i ended up getting the notions too because that day it was 50 percent off everything and i had these extra 50 percent off coupons i know it was 50 percent off thread but i saw a nice um lightweight denim um at joann's that i am going to get um, but i went ahead and picked up the notion since they were all marked down so yeah that's for the challenge i'm doing this month um and then last but not least from a fellow sonista i am in her facebook group and um she did a facebook live where she was showing all her skirts and stuff she had been making and um she had uh this giveaway that if you I forget what, how did you, how did it work? If you repost it or something, I forget. This was a few months ago. But at any rate, I won a gift card. <laughs> I won a gift certificate. And so I used it to get one of her skirts. Isn't this just beautiful? And this purple, you can pick your own fabric and all of that and design. So isn't this gorgeous? So I am going to make a top to go with this and so i haven't settled on what top yet i'm thinking highly thinking it's going to be a, a sorbetto uh top the colette sorbetto um so i think that will go really nice with this uh a short sleeve or a cap sleeve um for work um but so so cute isn't that pretty so so pretty i will leave a link oh is she she on instagram Ooh, if I can find a link, I'll leave a link. But um, but anyway, uh, it, it was just fun to win something from another fellow Sonista, right? Um, so and I'll be making, of course, myself more and more skirts. Uh, you know, like this. This is um, this is not pleated. Is this pleated? No, this looks gathered. No, these are. Oh no, this is this is gathered. I mean, I'm sorry, pleated, small pleated. Um, so, and my style is definitely uh, the pleated, uh, maybe not so much gather, but larger pleats, maybe larger gathers or something like that, because I am rather hippie. So, um, so I'm, I'm very mindful of too many, anything that look too, like is gathering too much. So, that is what I am doing. My, I will be going to the Goodwill probably... Uh, here within the next week. I think I have a couple other things I want to clean, uh, make sure it's nice and clean. And then I will be taking um, that stuff to the Goodwill. So yeah. And my wardrobe is really filling up with things that I have made, which I'm absolutely loving. Um, curating my closet to what I like, my lifestyle, my what I enjoy, casual. I know I need some staples for um, just everyday staples for work, uh, for church, business related, whatever. Um, and then very casual weekend wear, different things of that nature. So yes, I am very excited. As you all know, like I said before, I've been, you know, when I got excited and got really into sewing, I was sewing up a lot of stuff, but a lot of that stuff didn't translate into my lifestyle and what I would like to wear on a normal basis. And I'm not an off the shoulder person. So yeah, those will be going to <laughs> the goodwill. Um, so yeah. I think that's it. That's all I got. I thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you all are having a fantastic Sunday. And for those who celebrate, uh, happy Juneteenth early. Juneteenth is tomorrow. Tomorrow is June 18th. And so happy Juneteenth day. Um, there will be a lot of celebrations all across the country. So um, again, happy Juneteenth day and in closing, happy Father's Day again. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Um, and next week will be, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what's coming up next week. But we'll see you next week in the next video. All right, everybody, have a fantastic week and stay blessed. Bye.